Hare Krishna. So many times we hear that ultimately every religion speaks the essential principles, which are same. So then if that is the case, then what is wrong if I follow some other religion, uh, like the Abrahamic religions? So here we have to understand that although the essence of all religion is the same, which is to love God, to become a servant of God, but the truth is decimated or given in different degrees. So for example, we understand that uh, for some religions, eating one particular animal is considered sinful and others are okay. Whereas in other religions which are more refined, killing any kind of living entity just to satisfaction for the satisfaction of the tongue is considered sinful. And for a religion or for the people who follow the uh, religion, you know, for the people who themselves are not sense controlled, those who uh, do so much of gross sense enjoyment, they are given a limitation of this many number of wives or so on and so forth. And for those who are little from a refined culture, they understand that ultimately bodily sense gratification is something so lowly and temporary. The real goal is to rise above sense gratification and to learn to gratify the senses of the Supreme Lord, the spiritual senses of the Lord, to serve the Lord, to make Him happy. That is the focus. So like that, the essence may be the same, but the details are very important and the details differ. So all religions do tell us about love, peace and service attitude. Yes, that is true. But the details for it may be different. Some people may say that we are the only right religion. Everyone else is wrong. So that has a little hatefulness in it. And some people will say that all religions are right. Doesn't matter what you follow. That has a little ambiguity and vagueness in it. And some people will not give de uh, descriptions or discussions about who actually God is. They do not know the name of God. They do not know the face of God. They do not know, like Prabhupada says, the address of God. But Sanatan Dharma is one following especially krishna consciousness which is actually non-different which is sanatan dharma the real sanatan dharma is jiva dharma jaiva dharma which is krishna consciousness to develop consciousness of god gives us the name address like Prabhupada says no i give you the name address everything phone number of the supreme lord so that is then uh, the difference in the details all religions do speak a base similarity but in different degrees according to the capability of the followers and therefore we'll see those who convert religions to these other religions generally they are on that base level they are unable to live a refined level so they choose the base level they choose to adapt to the base level and therefore they convert to such religions fine anyways that is their level so we do not go by externals of muslims christians hindus these are external uh, trademarks a person will follow whatever thing which is convenient to him. So our goal in practice is to raise and elevate ourselves, to refine ourselves, that we become elevated in our practice so that we can follow the highest path, which is the path of Krishna consciousness, which is the goal is just to please, to love and to serve the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna, as is revealed by the Lord Himself.